These videos will introduce some key concepts in probability theory that are useful for data scientists. To start, we'll talk about a famous problem in probability theory called the Monty Hall problem. This is a problem that's loosely based on the American game show Let's Make a Deal and named after the host of that show, Monty Hall. The setup is simple. So there are three doors and behind one is a prize, behind the other two are goats. I'm assuming you don't want to win a goat and you want to pick the door with the prize behind it. So first you pick a door, let's say you pick door number one. And then after choosing door number one, the host of the quiz, that's Mr. Monty Hall, opens one of the other doors revealing a goat. So now you can stick with your original choice or switch. So what should you do? The Monty Hall problem asks which is the best strategy, to stick or to switch? Looking at the situation, it seems obvious that sticking or switching makes no difference. There are two closed doors, one has a prize, one has a goat. It must be even odds, 50-50, no matter if I stick or if I switch, right? Actually, that's not the case. You win much more often if you switch. The clearest way to see that, I think, is to make a table with all the possibilities. So let's say we're lucky and door one had the prize behind it. In that case, if we stick, we win, and if we switch, we lose. If door number two had the prize, then if we play the game and stick, we lose, but if we switch, then we win. If the prize is behind door number three, it's the same. If we switch, we win, and if we stick, we lose. So in two out of the three cases, switching gets us the prize. Therefore, we should always switch. The trick is clearer when you have more than three doors. So let's say we pick door number one again. The host opens every other door but one. So now would you stick or would you switch? It seems very unlikely that your original choice was right, but, and this is the key thing, the host knows where the prize is. So when he opens all the other doors, he doesn't open the one with the prize. So hopefully in this format, it's kind of obvious that switching is the better option. The host has given you information and you should take advantage of it. So this problem became famous when it appeared in Parade magazine in 1990, when a columnist called Marilyn Voss Savant gave the correct answer and the magazine was deluged by people, many of them with PhDs, who wrote in to tell her that she was wrong. The problem was actually first posed in 1975 by this guy called Steve Slevin. So the point of this little paradox is that probability is not intuitive. We have to carefully and rigorously formulate it so we don't end up confusing ourselves and picking a goat. So while some of the videos this week might seem a bit dry and mathematical, try to persist because this stuff forms a solid foundation for all of statistics and even machine learning.